and watch now. Broadway. 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 ปรแกรมเราชนะโดนเบลีปรแกรมกับเบเซวีรักกับโอ้ยรักสัมพลักกันโนยูยาเวตะกานเงียวนันวันโดนเบลีเรียมโมนาชกันกระเชยยังนัน
ตาสูเมโลเวียบานสกูลนูตอกเมโลคอลเลจนามโปมปีบาร์ซิดูอาบานปาร์วโนอาบานโตเซกิราคาสกูลนามวิงไชน่าเมลปัจจังเจเอ
What I throw in Bombay State and upset Well, as far as I know, we have uh, not quite a number of the doctors in the island. At least in Bombay State, I know we are on the short of doctors. Uh, that doesn't even include Kosarawai, Yak, and Chu. They also have short of doctors. And uh, if you look at it, the other islands, there are no doctors set. They generally nurses who are taking care of the medical care, medical need of the people. So um, there is a need, and there is no other uh, medical school in this region. I mean, the closest medical school, if you want to go to it, would be in Hawaii, or it would be in Philippines. There is no other, you know, we are the only school that provides uh, uh, qualified medical education for the students, uh, for the Macronesian community. When and how was New Tokyo Medical College established? New Tokyo Medical College was established in uh, 2010. Uh, we started a little bit later, and uh, uh, I think from 2011 we started having classes here. We, since then, we generally improved in the school. We were first in a smaller area. Now we have the whole Nantai building that is uh, our campus. and. Uh, also, we have many uh, programs to expand the school and expand it to the very competitive future also. Thank you. How do you apply a new visa eligible to enroll as a new student? For Micronesian citizen, um, you need to be uh, high school, minimum is high school. But if you have college courses, for example, if you do some uh, classes in the college, we do accept those credits from, from the students. And um, the minimum requirement is up from high school, but we do accept people from other, uh, if you're coming from college or to we have classes from the college, we do accept it. The program is three, three years in Penopet, in our campus in Penopet, and after that we will send you to China for six years with an affiliated medical school we have in China. In China, the six years program includes both the uh, hospital training and also one year of internship that would actually qualify to get a license in uh, uh, medical field. And the reason we want to send people to the China is because uh, in China we have this medical school we are affiliated with. They have three hospitals, there are three teaching hospitals. And uh, the combined number of the hospital death for them is about 20,000. So a student is going there, they will be you know, exposed to uh, any and all kind of diseases. So by the time they come back here, there is nothing they haven't seen during their training. And after six years, they can come here. And there are many options after that for them. They can come and practice as a general practitioner. They also qualify to go to USMLE, which is a United States Medical Examination Licensing, and uh, then go to their residency program in United States, become a specialty doctor in the US. A school is approved for that. You can also be candidate to do residency program in China. You can also be a candidate and other couple of extra years and uh, become a, a special doctor in China before they come back here. Um, if they don't want to practice medicine, they can always be like me. They can become educated. They can go work in college and universities and many doctors work in uh, universities in the United States or any other country as a professor or they can as an instructor. If that's all what they want to do, they still can go and work with the pharmaceutical companies. Many pharmaceutical companies hire and this to work with them. What they can get into the research program. There are many other options available to the uh, person who has an MD degree. It's not only that you have to finish this and then you have to go work in the hospital. There are more options available. Thank you, Doctor. Please, please, uh, anything else you wish to share with the public? Well, you know, the, the, I believe 
I really strongly believe in what I'm saying. You see, this is the time for my generation to retire. We are done with working and we want to go and rest. We want to give this country, this world, to the newer generation, the younger people. They are the ones who will come and take over what we have done. I'm very comfortable with my generation have done. We brought jungle jet and we brought internet and we brought computers. This is what we built. Now it's time for the new generation to come and do something better. And the only way to do that is through education. Okay. You cannot build anything better if you don't know anything better. So I believe this is very important for my Asian and group to realize that if they want to make their country a better place, it has to be through education. And without an education, it would be very difficult to maintain things as they are. So, I'd like to strongly suggest to the American Asian group, regardless of what you like to do, get an education. Now, I'm a doctor, of course, I like to really be And I know everybody knows here there are lots of need for doctors here. You know, we leave the colonial, there is no other doctor out of the colonial. Many doctors here. And we have the good quality people here. I just think it's a matter of uh, uh, desire and motivation to become a doctor. And I hope some of you will do that. I have the whole country and have the whole country. Thank you, Dr. Said and Mr. Lee Poor. This has concluded our today's radio program. Kalangan and Kupur Chorus. I am much more than a lot of my chair program in Kadres and I'm much not going to be. Sebaca wan dua puluh gajah perakan dan kencing sabali radio fizik sejauh omnan program yang kami sediakan memang dengan kau nak bertanggungjawab kalangan atau kesedihan.